Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my first video of 2022 and it's going to be my goals check-in um, and wrap up for 2021 and also let you know what my reading goals are going to be for the year ahead. So let's just dive straight in and talk about the goals I had set for last year. The first of those goals was to read 48 books and I'm really happy to say that I actually smashed that target. Um, I'd set it quite low because of how I was picking my TBR last year. At the start of the year I was using a randomizer wheel to try and help pick the titles that I was going to read and I thought that that might have a bit of a negative impact on my reading. So I'd set it at 48 thinking four books a month is really achievable um, for me anyway, um, this is no reflection on anyone else's reading, this is all about my own personal reading, um, but 48 books for me is, um, I thought was really achievable for me, four books a month, so I set it quite low and yeah, I've actually managed to read 93 books over the course of the whole of 2021, so I'm really pleased, I think I actually hit 48 books around about June, um, I haven't looked back to see yet, but I think when I did my goals check in at the end of June, um, I think I'd already hit the target or was about to hit the target. So I think I did really, really well. And I'm hoping that that will carry on into 2022. So my second uh, target for the year was to read one in-depth book a month. The in-depth series is written by J.D. Robb and it's a crime romance fiction novel series uh, which has over 60 books in it. A read along was started in January 2020 to read one a month and I had I did start doing it and I had been carrying on I'd been enjoying it and I'd hoped to carry on doing the same thing in 2021 although I was beginning to suspect that I might burn out on the series that did actually happen I think I read a book in May possibly June I haven't really looked back um, but I know that I haven't read re any of them really since the summer. So, yeah, I kind of did fail on that one. Um, like I was thinking, I was thinking I was probably going to burn out on it. It is a very repetitive. It is very samey. I think if you read them two or three a year, which is about how many are, are released a year, I think it probably would actually be quite fresh in your mind and it wouldn't be won't be quite so repetitive um, but you'd still be up enough on it to to be able to follow along with it but yes I'm I'm not discounting ruling out uh, reading them picking them up at any point in the future but I think for now I just need to concentrate on other books and other series that I've already started my third goal of the year was to join in with my book club and read all the books book club picks and join in with the book club live shows that we have um, the meetings that we have at the end of every month I have failed I have failed um, there's been a couple of very narrow misses where I've finished the book uh, within minutes of the uh, meeting starting um, and I think I've read about eight or nine of them and I have made most of the meetings as well um, I belong to the Just One More Page book club which is run by Jess McGlynn and the books that we pick are not books that are in my wheelhouse at all um, so we've had a few this year so there's been some historical fiction um, and there's been some there's been some mysteries which I have read um, but I'm more into crime fiction uh, rather than the mystery side of it so yeah I've not really read quite a few, I've, there's been a few of those that I've stepped back from um, and in fact I've actually DNF'd a couple of the books which I've really really found quite refreshing as the fact that I've been able to say you know what Jess and um, guys I, I just haven't enjoyed this and I've put it away and I've not gone back to it um, and I think I think um, being part of a book club has helped me because although I don't have to take part in the meeting if I don't want to actually going on and saying I DNF'd it and this is why I've DNF'd it even if I just do it in a quick um, message to the group um, it's, it's just yeah it's, it's quite refreshing so I'm definitely going to carry on with the book club I've had to reassess my finances for 2022 um, and I've decided that actually the couple of pounds a month that the book club cost me because I've been able to get the majority of my books from the library 
it's worth carrying on with and it does push my boundaries because like I say we all read such different genres of books um that I really do think it pushes my the boundaries of my reading so I'm looking forward to continuing with those in uh, 2022. My fourth goal was to use a randomizer wheel to pick two of my reads for the month and I think maybe the randomizer wheel setup was kind of yeah I think that that was quite restrictive um however I am going to carry on and use the randomizer wheel in 2022 as well but I've changed the setup of it and I'll talk about that a bit later on and in my January TBR um but yeah I did find that actually I got to the middle of the year and I think I just needed to mood read for a month and then I just never went back to start using it again so I used it for about half of the year the concept was a good idea um, I think it was just because I was using it to pick specific books rather than giving me a prompt to work with I think it just gave me too many restrictions um, so it didn't always fit with where I wanted to be in my reading and I maybe found I was having to push myself through books and I certainly found that back in February when I picked up Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett and I should have DNF that one that was one that I should have DNF'd and didn't um, because I just didn't enjoy it um yeah so I think the concept is a good idea and it is something I'm going to carry forward I just I didn't do very well with it this year at all I think the first half of the year was great second half of the year not quite so great and then my final challenge more than goal that I set for myself was to not buy any new books unless they were the in-depth books or a series I was continuing otherwise and if you've been watching my channel all year you know that that has not happened um I took out a new book subscription um back in April which was for a box of stories and that was because they were doing a fantasy and science fiction box yeah but no if you've been watching my channel then you know that I have hauled quite a lot of books this year um I just I was I was getting a bit downhearted with the process of finding somewhere that I wanted to live um that I didn't yeah I I was consoling myself with books every time I went to Waterstones um so yeah so that's that was that uh that was all my goals so like I say I think there's only one that I've actually managed to achieve and that was my number of books uh the rest of them I failed around about the middle of the year is when I stopped paying attention to them and uh, that's definitely something I need to bear in mind going into 2022. I did make myself a channel goal last year and that was to upload three videos a month and I have to say actually this is another one I've done really really well with. I have actually managed to upload a video um, majority of months, there have been a couple of months there's only been three but the majority of months I have uploaded four and on occasion five videos a month i made a resolution at the beginning of the year that actually i would upload my videos on mondays and i've aimed to have one in every monday of the month um it's been a challenge sometimes finding something to to film like i'm not the most creative person in the world and i've been struggling a little bit with taking inspiration from um other booktubers but I've started reaching out to other booktubers when I've seen content they've created that I think would be a great idea and said to them, you know, would you mind if I borrowed the idea? Would you mind if I... And and they've all come back and been, yes, great, please do. We'd love you to. And they've always, and they've always generously come back and said, and, and please let us know when you start, when you upload your videos. We'd love to check them out. So I have to say that is something that towards the back end of this year that I have really started to feel more comfortable with and is certainly helping me with finding more content um, to be able to fill most weeks with. So yes, yeah, so like I said, my actual reading goals, book goals probably weren't as, let, let's not be around the bush, they were terrible. I've done terribly this year, um, but they were goals and I'm not, disappointed I'm disappointed but I'm not going to beat myself up about it um because I've enjoyed my reading and that was the main thing um these goals are just to try and help me get along and in some ways they try they're in a way to try and help me control my to be read part because 
it is out of hand and I really do need to sort that out. So let's talk about the goals that I'm setting for myself in 2022. Um, I've decided that I'm no longer using Goodreads to set my goal for the year. I am using an, an app that's it's building momentum, but it's still fairly new on the scene. And that is the Storygraph. I will try and leave a link to the website down below. It does now have an official app as well. Um, so I will, you know, that is available on Google Play and on Apple. Um, one thing it shares with Goodreads is that it sets you a reading goal for the year um, and it also sets you a goal for the number of pages you want to read for the year. So I'm going to set for 2022, I'm going to set the same goal as 2021 and I'm going to aim to read 48 books over the course of the year. But I'm going to set the page goal as 30,000 pages a year. Now I think I've read around about 33, 34,000 pages this year across 92 books. So I think that that is possible. Uh, it just depends on the sorts of books that I pick up as I go along. Um, and 48, like I say, four books a month. Um, that's actually really quite achievable. I am going to use the randomizer wheel again. Um, however, the story graph also sets uh, people can set their own reading challenges and you can share those reading challenges so that other people can take part in them and there's quite a few that are based around tackling your TBR and I've picked a couple um, one of them has 110 prompts um, so what I've done is instead of loading all the books I own into the wheel this time I have loaded all of the prompts into the wheel and I'm going to be using those instead to pick four books a month that I'm going to try and read. However, I am not going to be quite so strict with myself. Now, those are the books that I aim to read. However, if I find other books um, that I'm in the mood for that fit the prompt um, and I haven't filled that prompt yet, then I will switch. Um, I'm not going to be quite so... Um, yeah, I'm not going to be quite so strict with that. Uh, just to try and give me a little bit more leeway, make, you know, make me feel a bit easier about my reading. Because sometimes if you've set yourself a TBR, it can feel quite structured and like you have to meet it. So I'm going to try not to do that. So I'm hoping that will help me meet these two targets. The next two goals go together. And that is to not buy new books unless they are to continue a series that I'm already in the middle of. Or if they're free to download, I I've, I've keep getting recommendations uh, for romance books at the moment on, um, on Amazon and they're free. These are books that the authors have actually put up for free for a limited time. I like the sound of them, so I'm going to download them. Not sure that's going to help. Um, although romance novels, I can actually uh, get through those very, very quickly anyway. So I'll just see how I get on with that. But then the next goal is to try and use my library more, especially for audiobooks and physical books. Um, I don't tend to use it for ebooks because I can only use those on my phone and I don't like to read on my phone. I prefer to use my actual Kindle and I can't get them on my Kindle. Um, so, so those two, yes, very much go together. Um, and really, I think actually having a very much restricted budget this year, I think that's going to help me to not buy quite so many books um, and to also think more about where my books are coming from. I mean, even just to buy series continuations, I've read a book recently that I really, really want to continue reading. And actually I've looked at my library to see if I can get the next one instead of, instead of buying it because I just, I can't afford to keep spending, you know, four or five, uh, sometimes up to 10 pounds um, for a book. And in the interest of bringing down my TBR, I am trying to set myself the goal of listening to four complete audiobooks in 2022. Now, I have one that I'm a good few hours into at the moment, so I'm not including that one because that one hasn't been started in 2022. I'm talking about books that I audiobooks that I start and finish in 2022. I have quite a few audiobooks um, from Audible that when I had a subscription from there, I was getting um, and haven't listened to yet. My journey to work is changing because I'm moving and I'm actually moving away from the town where I currently work and I'm going to have to drive. 
So my intention is that I am going to use audiobooks on my drive to work instead of um, listening to the radio. Uh, so I'm going to see how that pans out because that should give me a good 20 minutes reading time um, on one journey. So I should get a good hour of a book listened to. I mostly listen to them on 1.5 speed. I find it difficult to listen to them any faster than that. I don't think you take the story in um, or at least I don't take the story in. Uh, but yes, I'm hoping to be able to use that to get through a good four more audiobooks. Plus, I'm doing lots of decorating at weekends. At the moment, I'm trying to catch up with YouTube videos while I'm doing that, just having them playing in the background. Um, but yes, I, I should just have more time to listen to these rather than, you know, watching TV or listening to the radio or, or anything like that. And again, in the same vein, to try and bring down my TBR, I am going to try and continue four series where I already own the next book. Um, one of those series that I'm going to try and continue is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. Um, it is a book series I've been meaning to finish for a long, long time. I've got book six next, uh, which is quite a large book. Um, yeah. Uh, um, but I've got others that I've been reading for a long time so I've got the Fated Mate series uh, by Felicity Heaton and and I know there's others um, on there as well I've got Jessie Donovan her Dragon series um, I've got a couple of those on the go that I haven't caught up with yet and there's new releases coming all the time um, so yeah so I really do need to get more into to moving on with a series and I'm hoping um, that I will be able to do that using uh, the prompts as well um, that I've got on my randomizer wheel. And the final goal that I'm going to set for my reading is something I've missed doing this year is I haven't read every single day of the year. There's been quite a lot of days where I haven't read anything at all. And I've missed that. I've been going to bed and I've been missing that. Um, and I really think I need to make an effort to do that. So I'm setting myself the challenge of reading 20 pages a day, every day. Um, now this is where the story graph comes in. The story graph has a lot of stats on it and one of those is a pages read stats. You can record your progress in a book and it tells you, it keeps a record of how many pages you read every day and at the end of the month you get a graph showing you and it shows you if there's any days where you haven't read anything at all. So I'm really looking forward to using that to its full potential and hoping um, that a challenge that story graph are running, they're actually running a challenge and a giveaway for the month of January for everybody to read one page a day during the month of January and I'm hoping that that will help me form the habit of reading um, every single day carving out time even if it's just to read 20 pages you know I mean 20 pages in a thousand page book you know it's not a huge dent but it's something and and I really really look forward to investing time in that as well as far as channel goals go, I'm not really setting any this year other than to keep uploading. I had a conversation with a fellow booktuber um, a few weeks ago who is stepping back from doing more than one video a week. Um, and and that I just feel for me personally, one video a week, filming and editing with a full time job, um, friends to see, family to see, you know, I have to eat, I have to exercise. Um, one video a week is plenty um, and personally I find that I get burnt out on booktubers who upload more than more than once a week it's um, I mean this time of the year like I say I've got another booktuber who she is doing the 12 days of Christmas and I, I watch all of those but then I watch everything she puts out anyway because she's really creative and inspiring but yeah, I just feel sometimes that some of these videos that are being put out are just, it's just too much and I can't keep up with it all. There's so many people out there that I enjoy watching that I just can't keep up with everybody's videos and I have to make sacrifices and I don't watch quite as many of the creative videos 
as I would like to because there's just too much of it out there. Um, so one video a week for me, um, that's going to be my aim is to just carry on with that. If I miss a week or two, I'm not going to stress about it. But yeah, those are my goals for the year. Do you have any bookish reading goals for the year? If you do, please let me know down in the comments box. I'm always looking for inspiration for my own for the next year. So any input is always gratefully received. I make videos and put them up once a week on a Monday at 6.30pm UK time. If you have enjoyed this video, then please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.